You've heard my spiel about how Dark Souls is one of the best games of all time. It's got a world that truly feels lived in and real. It's got history and lore, legends and folk tales, heroes and villains of old. This aspect of the game was further expanded upon with the release of the series' first expansion, Artorius of the Abyss. This DLC is beloved by fans for its story, characters, and boss fights, all of which expand upon concepts that were present in the base game. Arguably the most beloved character in the series, next to Solaire of course, was introduced here. The... oh god. <laughs> the titular Artorius. A legendary hero, a knight of Gwen, a fallen warrior in battle. This is an understatement, but me and my friends were ecstatic to dive into this section of the game because, in all honesty, I've never played the DLC. Seriously, I've never actually gotten to dive into Dark Souls' expansion. It was a fantastic feeling, experiencing a fan-favorite area for the first time alongside my best friends. But you aren't here for my story, are you? You're here for the second chapter of Sir Saunders' quest. Well, I won't keep you waiting. Let's see how our heroes fare in Ulysseal, shall we? Dazed and confused, Mr. Fire awoke in a cave, surrounded by roots and gritted by a bonfire. Although the Pyromancer wished nothing more than to contribute to the planet's deforestation, he came to his senses when he found a familiar sigil on the ground. Sir Saunders had been dragged into this strange land as well. Unsure of what lay ahead of them, the heroes steeled themselves and found themselves at a fog wall. Behind it lay the Sanctuary Guardian, the Defender the town of Ulysseal. The Sanctuary Guardian fights with lightning in its breath and poison in its tail. A lethal combination. You know what's more deadly though? Mr. Fire when he gets presented with an exotic animal to poach. You're... Alright. Go, and then I'll go. Damn! Oi, oi, oi. Oh, this is still enough for me to... Oh! Okay. Instant poison. All right, I powered within. I'm coming over. You're a little dick, one, ain't you? Uh, right. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, okay. Watch out! Watch out! Yep. All right, he's back on you. Oh, Holy sh! Oh no, he's on me. Oh no, he's on you. Uh, mm, we also get a uh, a weapon if we cut off his tail. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh! If I could just eat a purple moss clump, if you could just hold his attention for yep. just a second. Oh, jeez! Okay. Alright, I've used all my Estus. Oh! Well, that thing doesn't really affect me! Oh, I missed. Oh. Ah! It's not that far away. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I don't know, but he's pissing me uh -oh. off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, I can't get a hit on him with this great sword. I'm too slow. Oh, I blocked it. He's just, he's just, he's just watch out. Ow. Coming in for the prostate oh, exam. Oh, oh. Thank you. All right, he's on you. Hey. Ah. All right, just heal if you can. I can't. I'm out of Estus. I used oh, my shit. last two. Uh, do you have your heal spell? Oh my god, I'm fucking- DONKEY KONG! Oh wait, sorry about that uh, Donkey Kong moment. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ab! Alright. Slice! Oh shit. He's on you. Yep. Oh no, he- no he ain't! One more. Okay. Yeah! Oh shit! Let's go! Yeah! Ah. Woo! Good shit. Hello, Traveler. I suspect you have many questions. 
I'm here to answer as many as I can. Like what? You found your way to Ula Seal, although you might know it by a different name. So you've been dragged into the past by a powerful force known as Manus. I am the guardian of the princess of this land, Dusk. Contain yourself. Just as you were taken from your time, Manus has kidnapped my dear Dusk in another ploy to cripple Ulaseel. This beautiful land is being ravaged by the forces of the Abyss. One of the Knights of Gwyn was hit here to combat it, but I fear he too has fallen victim to Manus's forces. We're the last stand between the forces of the Abyss and the rest of Lordran. I hate to ask for your assistance, but I, no, Ulaseel needs you to fight on her behalf. Please, I beseech you, defeat Manus, save Dusk, save Ulaseel. I hesitate to grant you this request, but go ahead. What is that? A toilet? What is this contraption? I haven't heard of it. Oh, one more thing before you go. May I make a suggestion? Considering you were brought from the future, you may want to disguise yourself. Not only may Manus's forces have a harder time recognizing you, I think it would be best if history didn't remember an individual clothed in such an outfit. You're wearing an helmet fit for a pig. Frankly, you look insane. Change your damn outfit. What is it? Exiting the sanctuary of Ulaseel, the duo made their way to the Royal Wood. This area was populated by strange bush-like humanoids. They appeared to be farmers, as they wielded nothing but pitchforks and oversized scissors. However far back our characters had traveled, it seemed that we had gone to a point where the most innovative invention of the era was irrigation. Fascinating. What's up, blood? Let's go. Let's get you your souls back. Man, I, can't, I just I want to find out how far back we are, dude, because... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please put that in. Please put that in. As you might have guessed, Mr. Fire loved his introduction to Ulaseel. He frolicked in the fields of flowers, burning the locals alive in a manic dance of toxic self-expression. For some reason, the townsfolk didn't take too kindly to Mr. Fire forcing their neighbors to partake in a little involuntary immolation. They banded together into a anti-arsonist hate mob Sicking a golem on our duo. Nice. Behind you, Danny, behind you! Whoa! Run, 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 run! <laughs> let's just go, let's just go. Yep, yep, they're di they're divers, dude. Just keep yep. going, I'm I'm right behind you. Alright. Let, let's just let's just run. Let's just run. Just hey guys, up. sorry for uh pissing you guys off. Uh Okay, I'm putting my shit up. I'm putting my shit up. I'm just going. I'm just going. Oh, what the hell? If you couldn't tell, I didn't expect to come across that dragon on that bridge. For anyone unaware, that was the black dragon Calamite, one of the last surviving dragons and one of the hardest bosses in the game. Seeing as we already had a mission and the dragon was optional, we decided it would be in our best interest to let the guy live. We had already made a detour to save Ulaseel. We didn't want to get more sidetracked. We had enough on our plate, especially considering what we found up ahead. Uh, I think we gotta pass. I think I see the way to go. We just gotta get past these three fucks. Ah! Four! Four of them! Uh, Danny? Yeah? What's up? I'm gonna send it back up. Oh, back the up. lift? Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm sending it back up with you. I stayed down. <laughs> nice! Yeah, right. Alright, where- Are we here? 
I think I think we're fucking here, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. While I hadn't played this expansion before, I was well enough aware of its most iconic arena and who awaited us inside. This wouldn't be a two-man job. It couldn't be. If we were going to fight against who I thought we were going to fight, we needed the third member of our group. We were going to need Zack Hadel. But before that, on our way to unlock a shortcut, we encountered someone rather... interesting. He introduced himself as Chester, explaining how he too had been pulled from his era to Ulysseal. His fashion backed up his story. It looked gothic. Victorian, almost. As I perused his shop, I saw that he had some absolutely ludicrous prices for the humanities he was trying to sell. A scalper? If there's one thing me and Mr. Fire both have in common, it's our hatred for these scumbags. In a fit of rage, Mr. Fire threw his strongest pyromancy at the man's chest. Chester didn't take too kindly to this, and he attempted to hit the pyromancer with a sweep kick straight out of Street Fighter. The only issue was I was already several meters away from him. He must have been delusional from the explosion that I had set off directly in his ear. Nonetheless, Chester attempted to shoot me to death with a crossbow. After smashing my catchpole into Chester's skull, the scalper went down. After summoning Zack Hadel into Ulysseal, Mr. Fire had to, unfortunately, inform him there weren't any bathrooms in the entire kingdom. He was going to need to hold it in a bit longer. Despite his bladder already bursting at the seams, Zack Hadel held on. Truly, he was the strongest of all of us. We ran through the royal woods, down the elevators, and found ourselves at the entrance to an ancient coliseum. It's fitting, then, that we'd fight one of the greatest bosses of all time in such a locale. Honestly, no jokes or bits, I was hella excited. This boss is absolutely legendary. I've even got a statue of him. I love his story so much. But, as you're well aware, we aren't here for anyone's story other than Sir Saunders. And what a chapter this would turn out to be. The abyss must be stopped. <coughs> Stay away. He just broke through my shield with that shit too, yeah. Okay. You call that a strike? Uh oh! Ooh, ooh. Get him off, Danny. I'm right here! Pay attention <laughs> to me! Whoa! Okay. Punch! <laughs> uh. Oh! Carl, oh, run! I'm He's trying to. Oh. All right, I, I'm going again. 
Holy shit. You can't fight Zack Hadel. Damn, how many times is he gonna use that fucking move? Alright, he can do it up to three. I would assume. Oh! That was kinda sick. You can't yep. fist fight a YouTuber. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Alright, I think this is him at his strongest. Woo! Block! Get back! Dodgin! Ah, okay, Dodgin then was not the move. Alright. He's so close, he's so yep. close! Woo! Go, go, oh go, go, oh go, go. I can't heal. He, Wait, I can heal. What me. am I talking about? We got him! Look! Watch! Watch! Ah! Ah! Raise the sun! Strong human. Surely mankind are more than pure dark. After slaying Artorius, we made our way to the Ulysseal Township. While the start of the DLC was pretty damn beautiful, this area had clearly seen better days. All of the stone was covered in moss, buildings were collapsing from disrepair, and Manus's forces were everywhere. Thankfully, the average soldier of the Abyss seemed to have the same flame retardancy as the Notre Dame Cathedral. They also seemed to enjoy the sensations of being savagely beaten and having their stomachs slashed open with a sword. I don't know why Manus seemed to solely employ masochistic junkies as his manpower, as it wasn't exactly all that hard to make our way to Lower Ulysseal. As we descended through the ruins, we began to find hints of the Abyss's effects on the town. Dark, viscous substances were coating the infrastructure and interior of all of the buildings we made our way through. The presence of this strange liquid only increased as we went deeper and deeper into Ulysseal. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no body video, but I might have a theory as to why Manus and the forces of darkness emerged from Ulysseal specifically. What if this black goo wasn't a byproduct of the Abyss's invasion? What if, instead, this was just a naturally occurring resource? What if, and hear me out, what if Ulysseal was built atop a giant reservoir of oil? Talking about oil? No, I hate oil! That shit is That's mine! mine! <laughs> While we easily could have called in cavalry due to Zach Cadle's ties to the United States military, the mushroom had given us a quest. We had to be the ones to save Dusk. After all, the Mushroom never did say no to Mr. Fire's final request. As we neared the bottom of the town, we came face to face with a small army of Abyssal Crackheads. If they were the same ones we had previously turned into real estate for maggots and flies, we wouldn't have had an issue clearing these guys out. The thing was, there were two Vagabonds that had unique, familiar abilities. They possessed pyromancy, but not just any sort of pyromancy. They wield the power of the abyss and their flames, creating the phenomenon of black fire. These arsonist dopers dealt incredible damage to us with their fireballs. Mr. Fire didn't take kindly to their use of his power against them and his friends. That being said, he did find the idea of drawing power from the abyss intriguing. If standard pyromancy drew upon the power of the first flame, and chaos pyromancy drew upon the flames of chaos created by the Witch of Isolith, was this black fire truly all that different from what our favorite poacher was familiar with? Just after we had defeated the black pyromancy, uh, that actually sounds kind of bad, uh, after we beat the evil, no, fuck that, that's way worse, uh, after we had defeated the Abyssal Pyromancers, we found ourselves in what was once a church. However, there was a single, mysterious foe that stood in our way. We weren't intimidated by this unfamiliar enemy in the slightest. Alright, what is that guy? I don't know, bro. Grief. Oh, wh <laughs> what the fuck is that? 
Oh, it's a it's a stick poke thing. Who? You ain't poking me with your stick. Sounds very oh, humble. Oh, 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 oh. You did a lot of damage. Don't yeah. worry about it. He's dead. It's fine. All right. Let's see what we get. <laughs> chain heal right I got chain mail. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> After defeating the royalty-free version of the Resident Evil 4 Merchant, we found a lift that would take us to the deepest parts of Ulaseel, to the edge of the abyss. It says trap ahead, Sock, you go first. I'll go first. Okay. Right. No, my turn. Are we going? Yeah. No, you're calling the other Oh! Oh! There's more of the oil than ever before, and before us, darkness. Pitch black darkness. We had made it to the Maw of the Abyss, the dungeon of Ulaseel. In the dank caverns beneath the town, we pressed on. Our side quest was almost at its end. We could feel Manus's presence in the dark. Mr. Fire guided the team through the shadows and troves of ghostly apparitions, until we came across a strange looking cave wall. Passing through it, we found a horde of humanity sprites attacking a young wolf. While Mr. Fire may be characterized as heartless sometimes, the goodwill of Saunders had rubbed off on the Pyromancer. Together, the team saved the pup instead of turning it into a rug. The wolf howled its thanks, disappearing without a trace. Huh, I wonder if that'll be relevant later on. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Eventually, we came to a fog wall. This was Manus's lair. It had to be. Behind this door was the face of the Abyss. The face of evil. We had to defeat it to save the land, for no other reason than the goodness in our hearts. Without wasting any time, we entered Manus's boss room. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I did not know that we had a cutscene. Sir Saunders looked forward and came. I'll kill, I'll kill you, you stupid, stupid piece of shit. shit. Holy shit! <laughs> you just got yoinked! Uh, uh, God. Uh. I'm, I'm on 12 Vicodins smoking on Scooby-Doo Scooby dick. They, they must have amnesia. amnesia. They, they forgot, forgot that, that I'm him. him. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the cream, cream kingdom, kingdom, bitch. bitch. Open up. Alright. Yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go! Alright, how- Oh, uh, how the fuck do we get down? Fuck it! Uh, ah! Just jump. Alright, oh, yeah, we're fine. Nice. Oh, 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 god, I'm about to die already. Oh, I know, I can Oh, god. Oh! Alrighty then! <laughs> wow. That, uh... That went terribly. Seriously, it would have been hard to have had a worse first attempt. Surely, that was just a fluke, right? Sweet! Uh, hi, Manus! Ah, I landed on him! Right. Holy fuck! Right. Oh, God. Oh! Alright, honestly, that didn't do the most damage. Actually, it's Sock. You're doing pretty good damage. I know. I'm the fister of men. This shit Whoa, ain't okay. nothing to oh, me, man. Alright. Wow. Great fireballing. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, no. Yeah, so it turns out that Manus is actually one of the hardest bosses in the game with many people considering him to be the hardest boss in the game. But, nonetheless, we couldn't give up. On our third attempt, Mr. Fire thought to the foes that he had faced earlier. If they wielded the power of the Abyss in their flames, why couldn't he? He already had the power of chaos at his fingertips, so why not delve into yet another source of power? Amping his abilities with the power within Pyromancy, Mr. Fire channeled the power of the Abyss and charged Manus! Oh fuck. 
Uh, alright, it's time for me to debut my brand new pyromancy! Black Flame! Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh! Ah! Uh -oh. I made it! I'm dead! Oh my god, that fucking kills me! No way. Oh, will you? Yeah! Oh, he's using sorcery now. It still was not enough. On our fourth run, Sir Saunders found a summoning rune in the boss room. Another one? We had a full party of three. But this wasn't an ordinary summon sign. Rising from it was Sith, the wolf we had saved earlier. We had the advantage. We had to. It was four on one. Sir Saunders wielded the power of the heavens. Mr. Fire fought with the power of the abyss. Zack Hadel stood tall with the sheer strength of humanity. And Sith fought to avenge their fallen master. We all fought for Artorius, who had valiantly given his life in an attempt to fell this great demon. We wouldn't. We couldn't die here. And yet, we did. It seems that Manus wielded the very power Mr. Fire had just begun to tap into, but with unparalleled mastery. Once more, our heroes were defeated. Manus was just too strong. And yet, we fought on. Within the depths of his inventory, Mr. Fire had a weapon that far exceeded the catch pole in terms of unfiltered strength and testosterone. It didn't have split damage, so it wouldn't be hampered by Manus's titanic magic defenses. It was pure, raw power. As much as Mr. Fire had grown accustomed to the catch pole, if it meant defeating Manus, saving Ulysseel, scoring with Dusk, he'd leave it behind and go further beyond. Mr. Fire would wield Silver Knight's Halberd. And with that, the heroes returned to Manus's cave. Mr. Fire took point, the others following behind him. Once more, the stakes were as high as they could be. The odds were insurmountable. But these were our heroes. They wouldn't give themselves up to the jaws of defeat when the legs of victory were so damn close. And so, we fought on. Alright. Oh, fuck! Uh, Alright, I... Fuck, I'm, I'm feeling that's... That puts me dead to the combo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Please that heal. Was the that was the scariest shit ever, Danny. You know what you did? Um, he comboed twice, I saw it. Yeah, he started the second one. Okay, okay. Oh. Great fireball! Alright. Oh god. Oh god. Get him off. Get him off. Oh, that's some good damage. Oh, and he stays in it. And... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay. Alright, I'm at six. Alright, it's the swarm time. You know what? Fuck it. I trust in my halberd. Oh, that halberd is doing damage, though. Yep. Oh, I got a back up to do that humanity. Yep. Block that shit. Get in there, Seth! Let's go. 249. Oh my god, if I two hand, I do 350 with a uh, 400! Oh. Yeah, we got this. I don't know who you are or why you keep being mean to me, but you need to be nice to me right now. <laughs> hey, I don't know who you are. I don't know why you're being so mean. Oh, I don't know who you are. Yesterday, I, went, I had a moment of weakness. And I said and I did some things that were not me. I reacted in a way that was not cool. Oh, I'm, I'm probably good, by the way. No, you're not, Saw. Oh god! Oh, oh no! Please, no! Move down, Danny. Yep. Yep, Danny, go up. Yep. Oh god! This thing's going oh. everywhere. Uh oh. I lived, oh, I lived. 
I did not. No oh, fucking God. way! Both of you died! Let's do this, Seth. Don't get greedy, don't get greedy. Yep. I'll probably do it, guys. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, no! Just heal, just heal, just heal. Yep. Okay, I could have killed him there, don't care. There we go, Daniel. Grace the sun!